This is hi, and you're watching Lekker TV with Benny. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, just before I start, don't forget to subscribe here because I love you forever. <laughs> it means the world. I'll do your hair or something. You love Lekker TV. I do. So just click subscribe or something. Come on. Yes, everyone, this is Benny. I'm here with Lekker TV again. And today we've got Hi. How are you doing? Hi. hi. <laughs> I, I, I want to say, I wanna say hi, hi, but it just sounds stupid. I bet you get that all the time. Uh, every day, every day. <laughs> it each has its own like, uh, it each has its own um, sort of flavour to it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so you are an Australian DJ living in London mm -hmm. and you've travelled the world over the past few years. And also just recently, had that Radio 1 residency. So True. that's a little bit about you from me, but can you tell us a bit about what you do in your own words, if you could sum it up quick for us, please? Well, I'm like a like a producer and DJ, so I spend, I mean, obviously the world's like dramatically changed for me and for everyone um, in the last year, but I was like traveling, you know, to several countries a week sometimes playing clubs and festivals and in the week I was like in the studio um, making electronic tunes yeah. but now that's changed to me being you know in the studio full time. Right so go back to the DJing the best and worst sets you've ever played what happened in them? But, uh, the best ones it's really hard that one actually because I feel like I had such a great run you know, I would probably say the best one for me was my final Phonox. Like, just in terms of like monumental and just the, you know, I played just eight hours and eight, uh, seven, uh, seven or eight hours and just the vibe from start to finish was, yeah. it was a incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, it was, I think everyone that was there knew that it was like, that yeah. there was something really magic. Because it's an honest interview and this is all really lovely to hear about and it's making me happy. <laughs> We've discussed the best, which probably fun acts. What is the, the worst or least favourite set you've ever played? And what happened? Mm. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, with the, everyone's seen, that wasn't really the worst, but it was quite a remarkable thing that happened in a set was my boiler room in, um, in Belfast, where the girl climbed. Actually, I have quite a funny story about this. The girl climbed over and hit the, it was quite a drop and I was, quite worried that she'd like hurt herself but I think she just happened to bounce <laughs> she was okay I think she might have been um people from Belfast yeah a bit of, people yeah, from a bit of alcohol and yeah, stuff they, they don't they um they don't feel pain what is the best thing about what you do apart from checking if a girl from Belfast has injured herself after falling <laughs> <laughs> over a barrier apart from their quick health checks what is your number one thing about what you do what my favorite thing is just being around people I think it's just being getting getting a chance to like make people like throw their hands in the air or like smile or yeah it's my fave I'm smiling now because I'm thinking. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna make you you're an honorary Mancunian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I've always wanted that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi. That is a bit of background and some of the best and their most iconic moments that you've experienced so far. So now we're moving on to the future, which you're gonna love. I feel like I'm about to get stitched up. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. It, look, I'll never stitch you up. Come on. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> so. For people watching, if you don't know, being a DJ is all about beats per minute. So, <laughs> okay. I've, I've chosen songs that most people know and you have to guess the beats per minute because that is what you do for a living. All right. I'll make it through the night with a little bit of luck. Don't you know that fast? With a little bit of luck. 140. Yeah. 135. Ah, damn. <laughs> I pushed it. <laughs> 135, 135. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it slower than 140? Yeah. I've got to have six months so far. Right, maybe it's around like. 133? 133? Yeah. 
No, I'll give you one more guess. You keep oh, this. come on! No! Come on, Hannah! One, two, eight. Really? Yeah, promise. I'll double check. My, my internal metronome is going too fast today, it seems. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> such a good time because you're having such a good time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, I'm on my third coffee as well. So <laughs> okay, the last one it is the second national anthem of the British. I personally hate it, but mm -hmm. it's one of the most widely loved songs in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who this song is? Must do. Do you not know it? No. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> this is so funny that you don't know. You're such an Aussie. You're such an Aussie. I know. <laughs> Wait, so we'll get to the chorus. We'll get to the chorus. Oh, I know. Right, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would say it is the other one. One three, one three three. One two four. One two four. <laughs> okay, hi. That is the end of our feature. Um, it was one of the most difficult ones I've ever done. But <laughs> look, you gave it your best shot. Uh, you didn't even know if it was Sweet Caroline straight away, which proves you're a proper Aussie, and that makes me love you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of fat English people, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now we're moving on to the whole point of Lekker TV, which is the advice for young people. And you've lived a mm -hmm. uh, very sort of atypical, unique life. You're still doing that. So we're going to spread your Aussie wisdom. What would you advise young DJs to do during the pandemic? Because that's very current. Um, I just think, you know, live and breathe it, music as much as you can. Like you've got time to really immerse yourself and just like learn and listen and and listen to like mix mixes and watch sets and, and like dig for music online if you can and stuff. But like, I think the more that you kind of immerse yourself in it while there's a bit more time, the better. Everyone watching, you put on a high essential mix or a boiler room, and then you'll be set for after the pandemic. You're going straight. Yeah. You're going straight notes, to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> you're going straight to that man's or main. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to right. young female DJs who are just starting out and their importance to the music scene? Um, there is space for you. There is like so much room for more women to come through, mm. you know, it's and also just like be excited by by what, you know, the women that you're seeing at the minute. There's like there's been so many like wicked women that have done so much work to for, you know, and, and men as well that have that have done so much hard work for it to mm. for us to have more of a platform. And I think like be inspired by it. Mm, definitely. Look, people yeah. come at the well, this is what I want. I want people to watch you and see the likes of, of like Peggy or like Shanti Celeste. You know what I mean? All these absolutely. You know, all, the, all these girls. Yeah, that, all, all of these great women. Yeah, look, yeah. You, you're you're actually you're such an integral part of the scene. And if you, they were to take you away from it, fully. it'd be it'd be so much more. Yeah, lasting, definitely. Don't be fully def defined by your gender in in um in music because I feel I feel like it's still so I feel like it's something that people are really learning but I still see a lot of like women getting pitted against other women with stuff and just purely because they're female and I feel like you know we're we're more interesting than that <laughs> <laughs> and our music selection's great and I think it you know it's, it make it more about the music well that's been Benny for Lekker TV with Hi who has been a legend I have to say a legend Anyone Thanks. from the Southern Hemisphere, I'm South African, she's an Aussie. Big family. Oh, love. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully when everything's over, I'll see you at a gig or if you're in Manchester, you and your girlfriend and me, we can all go out. Absolutely, <laughs> I would love that. And I'll, have, I'll, I'll have a couple of drinks. Uh, like I said, I've been Benny with Hi, Vlekka TV. Like, comment and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. Big love, everyone. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Benny, for that. And so, oh, I'll be fine. Um, that, oh, fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's never, 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 it's never,